by YouTube. I'm back with just a video today just to go in with some software that you can use with your blue microphone with the snowball mic because it doesn't come with any um, bundled software. So I find it really annoying. You open this beautiful mic, you set it all up, it's looking all nice. You, you're looking in the rest of the box, you just kind of, you know, you're emptying it all out. And where's the software? No software. Now, I find this really hard to get because everything I've ever bought of a brand name that's been like a USB microphone, a mixer, kind of any of that kind of technology has always come with either a few a free like cut down version of Cubase, like the Cubase LE, or it's come with some kind of cakewalk alternative. Um, well, what are you going to do? If you've got a Mac, fine, you can use GarageBand, but it doesn't give you that much editing skills. You haven't really got lots that you can use with it. Um, and if you plug it into a PC, you can use it for Skype, you can use it for online chatting. It reads it all, but there's no software. Now, for years, people have used Audacity, and Audacity is a very good piece of software, but I just you know the look of it I don't think it's that user friendly I think it kind of scares you a little bit how to use it so the software that I've got for you is called Reaper um, it's free to download there's a link in the description it takes you over to my website and you can download that and here's just um, a quick video tutorial that I've taken from one of my other videos just showing you how to get your microphone set up and get it working and uh, you know make some really good videos whether you're recording guitar or you're using it like I am for podcasting and for like recording speakers but just a bit of software to get you going so take a look at it in this video demo I'm just going to show you how to quickly add a USB mic to Reaper because I couldn't really find much on it. I did find a little link that helped me out so I thought I'd just make a video. Um, I'm not going to show you the full extensiveness of Reaper and everything it can do because it is quite, um, it can get a bit technical if you want to do some advanced editing. Now it is free software, they say it's free for 60 days but if you just um, keep clicking still evaluate and you have it free forever. So first things first we need to add a USB microphone so you need to go to options preferences and device you got all the different options loads of stuff that you can change but you need to go to device and then click the microphone that you need and here you can do lots of settings now if you wanted to monitor it with audio with headphones um, you might find that as you're talking it's coming back a little bit later and delayed um, and here is where you adjust the latency to just get that right and there's lots of other stuff you might want to have a read about that um, so I'll leave that bit for now but I just want to show you how to simply record so we've added the microphone and then all we need to go is track insert new track and here we can see a new tracks come in the bar and it's also down here now here's the option here you click that for monitoring headphones if you want to listen to it back if you're recording an instrument or if you just want to hear your voice back um, and check all your levels and stuff so there's that little uh, little button and feature so what we really need to do is the mics on this now is just click record and now here you can see as I'm talking the mic's picking me up and then we just want to record that into the project so simply press the record button here and as you can see on the screen um, it's picking up my voice it's recording all the audio so it's working fine click on save all that will then save the file so there you go and down here you also have FX that you can add to it I suggest adding these FX afterwards and not while you're recording unless you've got some quite good hardware as Reaper does like to just eat all your system performance so if, you, if you're not running anything too snappy just add the FX after but you can add lots of different editing there's loads of stuff and you can actually download lots of plugins online as well so have a good look on the forums so that's just the FX bit and then if you want to save the file you just simply go to render and then here's all your different options for how you want to save it, all the different things, and then you just click render the file. So there we go, just a quick video showing you how to add a USB mic to Reaper.